using the acronym ACE since you use the acronym as well. So A, I'd like to acknowledge and affirm some of the good points you have. C, offer some areas for your consideration. And E, to end off with some encouraging words to spur you on to your next project. Starting with A, to affirm and acknowledge and affirm your good points. First of all, I think you did a really good job using a very common acronym, an acronym that everybody knows, PDF. Mm -hmm. As long as you are working and we want to make sure that nobody can change what we are typing, we will always save it in PDF. So it's an acronym that can really help everyone to remember. And P, D, F, positive, decisive, focus, very easy to trigger off our memory because of the very good use of acronym that I thought that was really well done. The second thing that I thought was really well done is the use of rhetorical devices. You use a couple. What was really striking was the use of similes. For example, like leeches stuck to us and sucking our energy. Like naughty children messing our life up. Woke me up from a sleep like a sleeping spell lifted. All this created a very vivid image in our mind and enhanced your speech. Therefore, if you would ask me, did you meet your project objectives? I would say yes, you did. Well done. Now some areas for your consideration, I'm going to move out of Project 4 backwards into Project 2. Organize your speech. Now you have a very nice structure to your speech, a very clear opening. You open with a riddle and you talked about how time is. Those who think that time is not precious, go back and do some self-reflection. You move into the body of the speech. Positive, defense, decisive and focused. And your closing, remember PDF, take care. So very clear structure. What I'd like to encourage you to really consider in using P2 is how you can flow from point to point and transitions and all. Because what you did was you did with the opening, you went to what PDF stands for, and then you went back what can steal your time. And you go back to PDF again. So what I can really suggest you might consider is do your opening, talk about how people who don't think time is precious, you go back and reflect, and then move into people things stealing your time. And how can you solve all this problem? Let me offer you the solution in your PDF. So the next time you switch on your computer, you see a PDF file, remember what I say about time. <laughs> and then you move on to the main body of the speech. Conclusion, I really like to encourage you to consider how can you make the conclusion a bit more personal and a bit stronger. Remember PDF, take care, it's a very generic closing. What you can do to anchor your message for example so the next time you're feeling down be positive the next time you can't decide be decisive and the next time you are distracted focus and i'm very sure nobody can steal your time use your time wisely thank you something like that so in conclusion <laughs> and some word of encouragement you have a very good structure a very good message i'd really like to encourage you to work continue using your rhetorical devices and work on restructuring your speech to deliver a stronger message i'm very sure your next speech will be a very powerful and good one once again well done and back to you